Mr. Whittle to take over. Meanwhile, I request all the audience to kindly maintain silence during the talk and interact whenever needed. Over to you, sir. That was it. There was no Angular, React, no new technologies back then. So we had to download all the pirated versions from the cyber cafe, make some products and go literally door to door searching for a potential customer, you know, what we had built. But that is not how entrepreneurship actually works. Fortunately, we were able to, you know, find a very good customer. Most of your denim wear comes from that customer, you know. So, it was a fashion retail company which actually bought our software, you know, which happened in 2009 and I made my first exit. I didn't know what to do with the money which I had got, 
you know, I thought I'd won the world over, I would be all over the news. Nothing happened. Nobody knew me, you know. It just did not happen. And this is when we started to understand that, oh my God, it's not so easy, you know. Money is not everything. On that note, I would actually like to ask you, what is, what is apparently the first couple of salaries I would say an entrepreneur makes or the money which he makes or she makes. Zero. Do you know who is this? Chanakya. What is it? No, not Chanakya. Yeah. What is he famous for? Zero. That's exactly how much an entrepreneur makes in the first year of his salary. Zero. Right? Definitely not encouraging. Right? So what actually motivates for an entrepreneur to become an entrepreneur? I want three hands or three volunteers to raise, you know, I want them to answer what they would actually start doing if they had one crore with them now. Then, or I'll have to choose which I really hate. You can also lift your friend's hands if that works too. Oh, now I see a lot of things. <laughs> Teamwork is another aspect in entrepreneurship. Sir, I will double it and give to the next person. <laughs> I will double it and give to the next person. Oh, sure. Hey. I'll shot Adani. I'll shot Adani. Adani stock. You? I'll shot Adani stock rate. Right? Oh, you'll shot Adani. I heard it as no, S-O-H-T. Yeah. <laughs> that also. <laughs> yeah. Not many people are enthusiastic about one growth if they get it. Interesting. There's one about it. Maya Sutra. Okay. I would invest in uh, real estate. Oh. And then build PGs out of it and find some good university where there is good crowd and build PGs. You, you have your potential customers already sitting here. I think that's a good start as well, right? What, what actually is success? You know, as an entrepreneur, when you start, you usually have end goals. What? You know, su success is very subjective, but do you need to compare, for example, somebody's Rolls Royce could be a metric for success. They might feel that, you know, I've got a Rolls Royce, I'm successful. Somebody might just be very happy in eating a masala dosa and feel content about it. You know, that, that could also be a success. Look at the dog, how peaceful it's sleeping. If you are an entrepreneur, you are going to be jealous of the dog, honestly. You hardly get time to sleep. So I think success is very subjective. This is something which you guys actually need to put in your mind and very constantly believe in what you want to achieve, not look at what others would, you know, think about achievements, you know, and what they consider to be a recognition. So that is very important for you guys. India. India is in a golden stage currently. You know. I would say the amount of exposure, infrastructure, what is currently there for anybody like you to start a company is enormous. This was never there three years back, this was never there five years back. The best time to start any company if you have in your mind is today. You know. So that for you is definitely a blessing. I don't know how many of you actually went through the budget yesterday. Is that part of the curriculum as well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You might have to submit some assignments, I think. <laughs> so, budget was focusing a lot on startups. You know, they have deployed thousands of crores as funding for various sectors in startup in India. So that is something which is there. Earlier, people used to call Israel as the startup capital of the world. Now the tonality has changed as we are growing and as I am also travelling across, they recognise India as one of the key markets for the next decade. 
They say it is India's decade. You know, so that is something which is there. Yeah. Now, the potential of Indian startup ecosystem, everything is nice, but as an entrepreneur, what you actually undergo is are these things. One, there will be no time, but unfortunately, everything takes time. You know, you are caught in between those two. That causes stress, of course. So, your taking care of yourself is very important. You know, and understanding when to pivot. It is very, very lonely. I am easily 10 years older how I look currently than actually what I should be. Thanks to entrepreneurship, of course. Right? So, every moment there are multiple things running in your left brain, right brain is something what people usually tell. But we'll have 100 categories of brain inside the brain, which has to be constantly running. If not, you know, you just miss out on the whole bus, I would say. Most importantly, pivoting. You know, pivoting is one of the most underrated aspects when you are starting a company. I don't know how many of you know, Netflix started off as a cassette renting company, DVD or a CD, rental company. And currently, they are one of the largest streamers <coughs> on the OTT, right? So, that way, Amazon started as a book lending company, which started off as a you know, in the garage for Jeff Bezos. But now Amazon is A to Z entirely. So that is how big things can become when you keep pivoting at the right moment. You always have to identify that. That is something which is there. I'm sure that is not tough for students, especially because you have the knack of learning things quickly just before the exams. So I think that comes naturally. So the main topic for today, are you born as an entrepreneur? Do you have those qualities or do you inculcate later on? The answer is not a definitive yes or no here. You know? Everybody have their skill sets. Most importantly, it comes from various fields as well. This is why I told teamwork is important. When you are into sports, I used to play volleyball. I used to come to uh, Joseph, which had the annual tournament. Know, representing my college. Teamwork is very critical. You know, that is learned from your sports or cultural activities for that matter. Those are the qualities which you actually take into real life. That matters. That really matters. You know, So, stay focused on those aspects and those are the things which will definitely add value when you are starting your own company or even in a high profile job which you will be doing anyways in the future. So that is something which is very important. In terms of learning it, I think there is enough resources already available online. You can go through your favorite mentor or somebody whom you definitely admire on the social media. It is all at your fingertips. You, know? you have short videos made so that information is fed to you within 60 seconds. You know, that's unbelievable. We had never thought of those things before. Things keep changing. So you need to be ready to accept those changes and keep learning. Every day as an entrepreneur,